Hong Kong has traditionally turned a fairly blind eye to where money might be coming from. Panama Papers in Hong Kong, the impact has been less than almost everywhere else, despite the fact that the largest volume of offshore companies were created by Hong Kong people. And in the middle of this sort of offshore bank or treasury is one of the world's largest banks, which is that was the entire reason it was established, to do exactly this sort of thing. Sure, 40 years ago, perhaps, Hong Kong was the Wild West, but we have come a long way. And I don't think that it would be fair to say that Hong Kong is a tax haven country wherever the money comes from. I don't have an idea of how much money is going out of China. We don't keep track of the source of the money in Hong Kong, whether it's from China, whether it's from India, from Singapore, from Japan. That has always been the case and that will continue to be the case. Laura Cha is the face of the Manhattan of Asia. She also embodies the obscurity of this financial center. Close to the Chinese leaders with whom she once worked as a stock market control agent, she now advises the Hong Kong government while serving on the board of HSBC.